Congratulations, you've taken the first step towards hearing life to the fullest again. Like most life-changing milestones, it may take a bit of time getting comfortable to all the changes your ear goes will bring. Knowing what changes to expect and getting familiar with them will ensure a happy and successful hearing journey. As always, we're here to help and support you on your new life of sound. Your brain will adjust quickly to hearing more of the sound spectrum again. And our team of hearing professionals has decades of experience to assist you. They're patient, friendly, encouraging, and knowledgeable. To speak with them directly, you can call 1-800-613-2746 or connect with them through the Eargo app. One of the most common things people notice when they begin wearing an in-ear hearing device is the sensation of hearing their own voice. It goes away within a week or two when your brain gets adjusted to it and eventually ignores it. If it persists, we recommend trying the open pedal style with your Eargo devices. Hearing too much is a very common sensation indeed. Rest assured that it is a very normal part of getting used to hearing devices. When you first start using Eargo, the range of hearing you have access to changes for the better. Your brain is working with sounds you may not have heard for some time. Little noises like water running and paper crumpling may suddenly seem quite loud. You'll need to spend some time getting to know these soft, high-pitched parts of the spectrum again. They're the same types of sounds that make speech seem crisper. Sometimes people experience feedback, like whistling or buzzing, when talking on the phone and wearing a hearing device. This can happen when the phone is too close to the ear. The proximity can create a feedback loop between the phone's speaker and the device's microphone. If this happens, move the phone back from your ear an inch or two and try holding it at an angle. Preset Program 1 or the Eargo app selectable phone program are both designed for telephone use. Some people also have success using speakerphone. With consistent daily wear of your Eargo devices, your brain will start to hone in on speech and filter out those extraneous sounds like paper rustling. This usually happens during the first month of use. Be patient during this time and try out the different listening programs. After several weeks, many people find that it's easier to hold a conversation and hear better in a noisy environment. This will likely continue to improve over time, possibly for several months, but remember, the key to anything is practice, so start talking. Many people report that their TV is at a much lower volume after they start wearing Eargo devices, usually the same volume that's comfortable for other people. This is just one of many ways in which Eargo can benefit the people who don't need them. If you're watching with someone who has normal hearing ears, let them set the volume. If you find you still want it louder, tap through the different programs or use the Eargo app to select our TV program. You can also increase the volume within selected programs from the Eargo app. A couple of tips. Hearing devices work best when the sound source is less than 10 feet away. Different TV channels and streaming providers often vary in loudness. Adjust Eargo accordingly. Happy watching and listening. Here are some helpful strategies for you and your conversation partners to try. Face-to-face -face communication always works best. Good lighting and minimal distractions make listening easier. Your conversation partner should get your attention before speaking. A simple heads up really helps. Speaking clearly and slowly works better than shouting. If it's noisy, position yourself so the main source of noise is behind you. Sit close by to the sound source at meetings, lectures, and places of worship.